So I've been watching low MMR games and I'm in a state of disbelief. People just won't buy chaff or they buy the wrong chaff. So here is a video about chaff. I have recorded some video footage of common early game matchups and I will be providing you rules on which chaff you need to build. Chaff rule number one. Build fangs against sledgehammers and arc lights. When it's round one in the game and you see the enemy composition, that should decide for you what chaff you need to build. The chaff you build early game will be with you for the whole game, so the purpose is not to win like one round, but it is to win the game. So you need to think about the future also and what kind of technologies will the enemy have and what kind of technologies will your chaff have. Chaff rule number two. Build crawlers against mustangs and storm callers. Chaff rule number three. Build two or three times more chaff than you are used to. Usually your carry units need time to heal the enemy. It's better to build more chaff instead of more carry units. For example, if you are using Mustangs as your late game main damage unit, 4 packs is more than enough. They will level faster when there are fewer of them, they will benefit more from items you pick up along the way, and they are easier to protect with shields and frontline. In about all of the low MMR games I watched, the players built like 30% of chaff needed. Skip that extra Scorpion or Mustang and just build two chaff instead. Chaff rule number four. Drip feed your chaff into the battle. The ideal situation is that new chaff is coming into the battle from start to finish. Some things to consider. Late leveled crawlers can survive fire. You can split chaff with towers. Vertical crawlers can't be missiled, but fangs can be. Fangs with fast units behind them can be missiled. Fangs on the line can be replicated early in the game. Crawlers on the line can be missiled on the final rounds. 
Fangs on the line cannot be missled easily in late game, as they have shields. Crawlers run from under barriers, so the melter beam refocuses. You can force incendiary or EMP barrage with chaff. Some cards like subsidized Mustang, mass-produced sledgehammer, or subsidized steel balls with mechanical division technology allow you to build different kind of chaff. There's also a lot of things to do with chaff and mobile beacon, but that's for a future video, so consider subscribing so you don't miss it. So the crawler technologies, there is two techs that are pretty good with if you are using crawler as a chaff, replicate and subterranean bliss. And the subterranean bliss is basically used against mustangs or fangs or fire. It will make your uh, crawlers a lot more tankier. And the replicate is, you can create more chaff with it. And you can put a lot of pressure in, in some positions with this. It's a very nice threat. And the acidic explosion, while the acid is a very good option. With, uh, for example, scorpions, it's a powerful effect. I think it's not that suited for crawlers. Because the acid is only good late game and your crawlers are probably not in position to deliver the acid for you. So you need to waste your deployments or late game deployments on crawlers. And you kind of need them to counter what the enemy is doing. So I have been using this technology a lot but I don't like it at all. I never find a good place for it. But if you really want to use the acidic explosion, I would just suggest you cut the mechanical rates for it. And these are like the carry crawler techs, impact drill and mechanical rates. And the mechanical rates gives you more damage and more movement speed. And the movement speed is, is what matters. You can go straight to the enemy tower. And the impact drill is against enemy leveled crawlers, so you can win the replicate war. And uh, then it's also against giants and sledgehammers, steel balls, that kind of stuff. And if the enemy is leveling his tower, then the impact drill is also very powerful against it. And if you have enough crawlers, you actually can combat a uh, whirlwinded rhino with impact drill and uh, replicate. Because it, it doesn't kill everything at once, the rhino I mean. Then you kill it with impact drill, it kills half of your crawlers and then they spawn back with, with replicate. But usually in a... When I'm using crawlers as a chaff, the only technology I build is uh, subterranean bliss. And I build it very late in the game. And only against mustangs, usually. And when I'm going carry crawler, I usually start it with replicate. And uh, I leave it at that, or then I follow it up with impact drill. It's very risky to, to commit into mech raids as well, or commit into three technologies. The crawler is so so hard countered by some units like Vulcan. So it's at that point it's usually better to invest in some other units in your composition, like rhinos or phoenixes or overlords. So the Fang's strongest chap ability is the portable shield. It's so good against any kind of 
big damage like arc light, sledgehammer, scorpion, fortress, whatever. It's so crazy. And the other technologies are actually also pretty usable, even when you are using banks as a chaff unit to just block the damage. The mech rage is probably the worst one. The only time I use it is when I have a fortress fang summoning. And the mech rage will give the fangs movement speed so they run under the fort to tank, for example, a melting point. The range enhancement is quite good in some defensive games where the if you are going something like a Vulcan Phoenix and then you are using Fangs as a chaff and then the enemy tries to block your Phoenix damage with Wasps uh, and you have a lot of Fangs in play. Many people in that situation go into Mustangs but it's, it's a lot better play in my opinion to transform your chaff into sort of carry units. With the range they can combat the wasps very well. Also the ignite is quite good against uh, war factories especially. But for you to connect to the war factory you kind of need range and ignite so it's kind of costly. So I, I wouldn't normally recommend it. And the armor piercing bullets. The, the fangs have been in weird positions in the past patches. So in some patches the carry fang is very strong and uh, armor piercing bullets is quite strong with them. But now the fang isn't powerful enough to be your carry unit so I wouldn't equip this ever. The ignite is much more useful. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing and please build more chaff.